This video shows how to fix your HP printer when the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on your printer's control panel or on your computer. Sometimes the problem can be fixed by resetting the printer. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button to turn it on. Turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Slide out the input tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will clear any jams from inside the printer and the paper tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Turn to the back. Remove the power cord from the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Return to the front. Remove the output tray. Slide out the input tray. Remove any loose paper from the input tray. If you see any jammed paper in the paper tray, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Slide out the photo tray. Use a flashlight to thoroughly check for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the tray. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the tray, more paper jams are likely to occur. Slide in the input tray. Open the cartridge access door. Check the cartridge access area for jammed paper. If you see any jammed paper, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid any tearing. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find any small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now check inside the cleanout door for any jams. Locate the cleanout door handle near the back of the printer. Grasp the handle and pull the cleanout door up and out to remove it from the printer. Check the cleanout area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Check the paper feed path for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Locate the cutout in the duplexer cover. Use the cutout to raise the cover. While holding the duplexer cover open with one hand, use the other hand to remove any jammed or torn pieces of paper from the area. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. 
If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Lower the duplexer cover. Reinsert the cleanout door into the printer and gently push down until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Slide out the input tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Reinsert the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, Go on to the next step. Use the following step to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach into the cartridge access area and manually move the carriage. Move the carriage to the left side. Using a flashlight, check the right side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Then, Move the carriage to the right side and check the left side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. While moving the carriage, check to see if the cartridges are contacting the printer cover. If the cartridges are seated properly, there will be a gap between the cartridges and the printer cover. We will address how to seat the cartridges properly in a few minutes. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Reconnect the other end of the power cord into its power source. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. 
Sometimes ink cartridges that are not installed correctly or those that are not vented properly can cause a carriage jam. In this step, you will fix these problems. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Remove the cartridges by pressing inward on the tab on the front of the cartridge to release it. Pull the cartridge toward you to remove it from the slot. Repeat for all cartridges. If the orange plastic pull tab is still attached to a cartridge, remove it. When handling the cartridge, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink port. Be careful not to touch the contacts or port. Because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Now, check the cartridges to make sure they are properly vented. Locate the vent slot on top of the cartridge. If the vent is clogged, clean it carefully with a pin. Repeat for all cartridges. It's important to make sure all the cartridges are properly vented. Now you can reinsert the cartridges and make sure they are seated correctly. Install the cartridges in the correct slots. Match the color and symbol on the cartridge to the color and symbol on the printer. Hold the ink cartridge so that the ink port faces down and slide it directly into its slot. Push the cartridge all the way in until it latches into place. Repeat for all cartridges. When all the cartridges are reinserted, Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then plug the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, Go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash HP Printer Support.